Hello and welcome to Brew Review. Today's brew being reviewed is Quench Quake from the uh, brewery Brewdog. Now, uh, they're one of my favourites. Uh, I know they divide opinion amongst many people. Um, some people think they're pretentious and very up themselves. And other people think that uh, Brewdog's like a brilliant company with, uh, you know, the way it goes about its marketing and its practices and all things like that. And um, they are a truly divisive company. Um, personally, I think they are very pretentious. Yes, I agree with that. But I think they can back that up the way they act um, and the way they are very up themselves with the fact that they continually produce and provide high quality, niche, and innovative beers. So um, today it's Quench Quake. Now, if we have a look at the, uh, the bottle, it says on the side that it's a grapefruit and tangerine sour. And um, it is an incredible beer, if I'm honest. But the thing that first uh, drew me to it when I was actually looking for other beers in the shop was the colours on the um, on the label, actually. Now, quite unusually, um, sorry, quite normally for Brewdog beers, they have just like a wall of text. They have simple simple colour schemes. The actual uh, labels aren't incredibly innovative and they aren't, you know, they don't have a lot of um, visuals on there to sort of grab your attention and make it stand out. Um, however, with this one, the unusual colour schemes of the juxtaposed uh, pink and yellow really did catch my eye. And um, I was actually, you know, I was very impressed with it, to be honest. Um, and I thought, you know, it, it catches your eye, you have a close look, you see grapefruit and tangerine sour, and you think, well, this was going to be something that's relatively interesting. Um, so, yeah, that's what essentially drew me to it and uh, made me purchase it. Now, as I say, it, the artwork isn't amazing. I'd say for Brewdog, it's, you know, they, they, they normally just have, like I said, wall of text and whatever. So it's nothing special, but it did exactly what it intended to, and, it, you know, it grabbed my eye. So if we now take a closer look at the bottle, we can uh, turn it around and see that it's 4.6%. So it's a medium strong beer. And um, if we spin it around to the back, we can see the fluff that I was on about. The, um, the Every Brewdog beer, every bottle tends to have a wall of text like this, which is, um, you know, this is where they get their reputation of being pretentious. I mean, there's a wall of text that I'll read it out to. It says, Buckle up for this juice bomb of a sour beer. The first tremor of tartness hits, then hold tight for a citrus blast of seismic proportions. Tectonic plates of lemon, tangerine, grapefruit, and tart apple agitate the pie crust and biscuit backbone. And then it ends on the tongue twister of Quench Quake, Sessionable Seismic Citrus Sour. So, you know, this is where they get their reputation from for being a bit pretentious, but with this one, to be honest, I actually thought it did live up to that. That, um, that sort of, uh, you know, the metaphors and hyperbole that's on the back there, because if, if, if I'm being completely honest, it did shock me. I expected to drink this guy and have a little bit of a sour kick to it, but with this, it's actually really nice. You can definitely taste the citrus in it. You can definitely taste all different flavors thrown together. And the fact that this was you know, this wasn't an expensive beer to buy. It was just, you know, in a supermarket. It wasn't one of these limited room ones, I don't think. I was actually genuinely very surprised with it. So here it is once it's been poured into the glass, and as you can see, it uh, doesn't really hold a head in it very much at all. Um, from the colour of the actual drink, once it's been poured into the very fitting Brewdog glass, um, you can tell that it's definitely um, a citrusy drink, just from the sort of colours of it. And, um, you know, it looks like it's going to be a sour beer when you taste it, but if I'm completely honest, I'd probably say that it actually looks more like a craft cider than like a craft beer or anything else like that, and that's probably due to the um, you know the high fruit content that's gone into creating it so um, overall would I recommend this beer and what I would say is a resounding yes if I had to give this an arbitrary figure I'd probably say it's 4.5 out of 5 which is absolutely incredible when, but once that's like factored all against you know how much it is to actually um, purchase a bottle of it how much um, you know how it tastes and you know how readily available it is i was absolutely stunned by this drink um and maybe i'm completely overhyping it maybe i'm not but you know that's basically my opinion on this so what i need to ask is have you tried this beer if so what do you think to it and uh, most importantly if there's any other drinks that i should uh, review please leave them in the comment section down below uh, thank you very much for watching